Are you going to tip it? Well, I'm going to try it. Alright, right, tell us one. Oh, I'm already recording. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty good. Good morning, inflatable fans. I hope you're all well. Well, I've taken the Brent out for a first paddle and I thought I'd let you know what I think of it. First of all, let's just go through what you get in the box. So the paddle itself comes in two parts. So you've got like what this, which is, they refer to as the floor piece slash bodyboard. Then you've got the main kayak. There's no pump or paddle with this one, but it does come with this rather nice bag and a set of instructions, repair kit, valve applicator, valve remover, and actually some glue in this one, always a bonus, and some patches and two fins. Now mine actually didn't have two fins, it only had one. But thankfully the wetsuit centre were very good and they sent me one as a replacement by next day delivery. So I just want to big up the wetsuit centre because they were very, very good and they've even refunded me some money for the poor packaging that uh, he was delivered in. I'm going to talk about that in another video. Let's get back to this kayak. So I've been out on the water in it today and as you can see, it's a bit mucky and muddy because, like I always do, it's been proper tested. We did have this pulled up onto a bank and, um, yeah, I had to clamber out, which is why that's all mucky and muddy. And uh, I was wrestling about in it, you know, trying to wriggling about in it. And it's really stable. So that's a really good plus point. It is very stable. In terms of build quality, it's really good. If this feels more rubbery, and this feels more like PVC, like you'd expect. But yeah, it is actually, it's really good. Now, what I don't like, one of the plus things, when I first saw this, I thought, oh, great. There's loads of D-rings and attachment points. And there are. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, um, seven, eight, nine. There's nine of them. However, they're designed wrong because they, once something locks into that corner, it pulls. Okay, so I've just quickly inflated this and I've already realized where there's a, well, I think it's quite a significant flaw in this already. I'll show you. So I'm gonna get in and sit in the seat because I've got the seat set up. You can see that, right? Because this is a square ring, when I sit back in this seat, that's pulling against the binding in the handrail. That's not good. Same on both sides. If that was a D-ring, like a circular D-ring, it would be more evenly distributing the pull against this, but this is now pulling from one direction, potentially creating a tear. Well, you can see it starting happening here with this bungee. It kind of pulls against the, uh, where it ties in. And I'm not, uh, I'm not certain about that. I'm also not so fond of the bungee on the back. I am going to buy some D-rings, in fact I've already ordered them, and put the bungee on here, because I think the bungee should be at the front. The back is where I'll be stacking camping gear. Now this inflates to 8 PSI, and that's all on there. Nice carry handles. I like the fact that they are, there are carry handles on the side, as well as one on the front. There is this drain plug here, and I'm not certain about this thing. I might even seal that up. And the only reason I say that is, is when I got out of the boat um, on the bank, I just I was pointing to lead, pointing this to lead. When I pressed in it, obviously it moved the valve around a little bit, and water came in because the boat was on the water. So I'm not I'm not so certain about that. And the other thing about design is when you're actually in the boat, so you sit here and your feet hang in here and this bit is the thin membrane the floor and that's on the water and it feels a bit weird and your ankles are kind of on here and i can see what they've tried to do they tried to make a more comfortable sitting position so that your knees 
or your feet are kind of crooked down so that your knees don't get in the way of the paddle. But I, I'm not sure about that actually. And I might actually end up putting something in there like a bit of foam just to elevate my feet a little bit. I don't know yet. I'm gonna flip it over because I, I wanna show you underneath. So there's that drain plug. There's a D-ring there. If somebody has any idea what that's for, please let me know. I have not got a clue why there is a D-ring underneath the boat. To me, that just seems like it's gonna be a hindrance. Yeah, I don't get that at all. Front skeg, rear skeg. Now I did take this out for a paddle with just the rear skeg in because I wanted to know what it felt like. And it felt a bit weird actually. It didn't track quite so good. As soon as I put the front skeg in today, it was an awful lot better. However, what I'm not fond of with the skegs is it comes with two nine inch skegs. Now I think the nine inch is great at the back, but at the front, well, I'm thinking I might cut one of these down because I just think it's a bit big. I don't know. If you're wanting to pull the boat up onto a bank or something, you've got that, it gets in the way. So yeah, I'm, I'm not sure about that. We'll have to see how I go on with that, eh? Underneath here, you've got some uh, basic guidelines. And this is interesting, isn't it? I don't understand this either. Board, 12 PSI, floor, 8 PSI. So remember that, board, 12 PSI. So this is the board, inflate to 8 PSI. I don't get it. Doesn't make any sense, does it? So that's the uh, Spinera, or the Spinera, and as I'm gonna call it, the Brent, the Brent Spiner. And uh, I do like it. It's been a nice paddle. I'm not quite sure about the seating yet. I'm not, uh, the seat, the seat pulls on here in the wrong angle, and I, I don't know. I might try it in, but I didn't try it today. I just used my usual arrangement. As you can see, based on what I said about the seat, I had my seat in. I do find that has been the best option for me in every boat. But yeah, that's the uh, the Brent <laughs> Spiner. Uh, Spiner. What do you think? For me, I'm going to need to do some comparisons between this and the Go Plus. But uh, but yeah, it's not bad. I did I did like it. I enjoyed being on the water in it, and it's safe and stable. I will do some more tests with it, and we'll see what it can handle. Right, that's all for now. If you've enjoyed this, you know what to do, the whole thumbs up, thumbs down thing. And uh, if you like what I'm doing on the channel, hit the subscribe, smash the bell, keeps you updated with uh, whenever I upload any new videos. Right, that's all for now. You take care of yourself. Thanks for watching. Cheerio. Mm. I do like that. Bearing in mind, I haven't got the fins in. We won't do it straight.